Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am beyond excited because the Cosmic Brushes Muse, Muse? I want to call it Muse because I'd say Muse because Muse would have like a little cafe like sign on it. I don't know French. I'm super super hyped about this one. I was following the kind of release pictures and sneak peeks on their Instagram, on Cosmic Brushes Instagram and I've been so hyped about this. I love the Serenity palette. I absolutely love it. Let me go get it now actually. This is the Serenity palette. You've probably already seen this before. Honestly this is one of the best palettes of last year that got released. It's such a great colour story, such great quality and I am from the UK so when I see a UK brand release something so available, so affordable and so well made. Like it's, it's not like the most revolutionary thing in terms of packaging and I'd say the Muse palette is similar like they're not revolutionary it's not breathtaking it's pretty but the color story beautiful very inclusive very very different I loved the Serenity palette and to see that they came out with something quite similar which is the Muse palette I think they said that this was supposed to be released in autumn time but because of Covid no because of the Royal Mail I can't remember because of some reasons <laughs> some reasons they had to postpone it but honestly I just think oh it's so stunning I have already looked at this so I've not swatched it at all I really don't mind that this has been released late as such I don't really wear makeup for seasonal appropriation I do not mind the palettes are very similar to one another like they're definitely in the same family but they're not the same at all i know a lot of people were like are these the same palettes like you looked at it and you thought wait is that the serenity palette and i'll be really honest with you i did see when i saw the first image of this on instagram i was like oh it's a serenity palette and then something in my head went no wait something's off like it wasn't a serenity palette and i was like wait something's off and actually I, at first i was a bit kind of not disappointed i was just kind of like oh Oh, it's kind of same okay but I'm not mad at all because I can't see a single color in this palette that I don't like like I'm so excited to swatch this get it over my eyes hence there's no eyeshadow on my face today I'm really interested to apply these colors and see how they work well with each other I so want to do a green look but I feel like my jumper today is calling to the purples so maybe I'll do purples and then we'll do a green look at some point I also kind of want to do a look like a palette bingo almost but only between two palettes and do a look in combination of these two and just see how well they work together. I think they're definitely sisters and not twins and yeah, I think they will work well together. And I do think you're getting a different palette if you've already got the Serenity palette. I don't think you're getting dupes or anything like that. You are getting a different colour story. Just before I go into swatches and play around with this on my eyes, I do want to let you know that this is a UK brand, I think I mentioned that, and it retails for £18. £18! You can also use a kind of an affiliate code. I Mm, yeah loads of people have them i think i use angeshka's there's like makeup radar's got one like the 10% off code you do have to pay for shipping which is like £2.99 i think it was um unless you spend over a certain amount i didn't because i didn't fancy more brushes at that present moment in time i purchased this at one minute past five and it released at five o'clock i was on that website refreshing like i am not letting this go i really really wanted this i think they're doing more this is a permanent palette in their collection so if it's unavailable right now they will be restocking it do not fear um but yeah this is 18 pounds british company really really affordable sort of beauty bay price um and I, I honestly couldn't ask for more so let's go ahead and swatch this puppy up i think i'm gonna go into the mauvey and purple zone today and save like the grungy greens for another day just because you know like as much as I love a green this jumper which I'm obsessed with by the way if you want to know it's from Ragged I think is it called Ragged and I am obsessed so I want to do the purples let's go and I'm back so those are the swatches I've just put my hair back I really enjoyed just even getting my mitts into this palette really really nice you can really tell a good quality palette by how all the shades are pressed and the different formulas how they're formulated every single shadow felt very different to me all the mattes felt really pigmented really like when I say creamy just like smooth soft no dragging just felt really high quality the metallics felt really good as well and all felt very different some felt more putty-ish than others like these three here felt more putty-ish these felt a little bit more drier and just a bit more smoother so it's gonna be quite interesting yeah let's like zoom you in and just get it all on my face i'm gonna go into the shade fig here which is one of the darker shades and i want this to be in the outer corner so i'm just gonna 
build that up and make sure that the depth is immediately there. I'm then going to take the shade Petal, I know I look crazy but just bear with, trust the process. I'm going to take the shade Petal and just kind of put this all throughout the crease, kind of messily but deliberate at the same time. I then want to take the shade Admire, I know it's like a mustard yellow and might throw this off but I really want to add something different and try and blend it in the front portion and then possibly use this one on like the more brow bone area. So I'm going to take the shade Admire and just kind of like pack it in the inner corner area perhaps. <laughs> take Sweet Pea which is kind of more of a lilac version of this one I think. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and just go over the edge just to diffuse a bit. Might end up going back over this later. I don't know what shimmer I want to go for. There's the two purples here which would take it really dramatic. Or there's like these really nice light pinky or this taupe which I'm obsessed with. I know I want this in the inner corner because it's got like a, a flipped pink and it's like an iridescence. I've just swatched from top to bottom there the shades Whisper, Muse and Antique. I think I want to go for Antique on the lids and then maybe put a little bit of, what's this called, Whisper on the like outer half and then perhaps a bit of Amethyst on the lower lash line. Maybe we'll do that. I'm just going to start with the shade Whisper. I want to apply as many eyeshadows as I can, but I want it to make sense. I don't want to just apply them for the sake of applying them. I want it to be realistic. I'm just going to go back into Whisper, just kind of reinstate and blend back the purple. And then taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to go back into Petal. I'm just going to go back into Sweet Pea, just for a little dabble of colour here, just like in the brow bone area. And then finally just to re-intensify, I'm going to go back into Admire, just to kind of reinstate that yellow. Do you see what I mean? Like the difference it makes, it just intensifies it a touch more. I'm going to take the shade Petal and just run that on my lower lash line where Fig isn't. <laughs> take a tiny bit of amethyst I'm hoping it doesn't throw it off too much because this is quite dual toned and the rest of it is quite muted but I'm gonna take a tiny bit of amethyst I kind of want to run it on the lower lash line <laughs> and then finally I'm gonna go into the shade luster which is beautiful like pink white based well that's a lot that I just picked up <laughs> this white flip and I just want to apply it Right in the inner corners, I've applied a bit too much on my brush, so I'm just going to go backwards and forwards and then just drag it around the inner corner sort of region, oh god, a region around here, just to kind of blend it into the other metallics. 
okay I'm really really liking this I'm gonna go apply some mascara and a lip that's kind of matching I'm thinking like a a nice mid-toned brown oh god maybe something <laughs> something along like this region like a purpley brown situation we'll see okay and here we have it this is the final look honestly like I, I threw on a lash I threw on a lash because I thought it needed it this one's kind of gone a bit funky but you know like we live we just keep going <laughs> we keep going um I applied the unicorn uh flamey lashes I love this look this lash is really throwing me off I love this I feel so sultry let me like turn down the contrast I feel like the brightness sitting on my camera was just a little bit too high but my goodness I absolutely love this look how like sultry and just fun this looks oh I love I love I love I love I'm really excited to play around with the greens in this palette I've got so much stuff on my desk I'm so excited to play with the round with the greens and to kind of use this mustard yellow again I think it's such a lovely color honestly this lip paired with it chef's kiss this is the natasha denona amrosa is this yeah 36 mp amrosa lipstick one of my favorite like movie brown pinks really really like it i'll just zoom you in one more time so you can kind of have a look at what i created my creation i really really like this palette i think it's really really cool i mean don't get me wrong it's not the most exciting look i've ever created in my life like i'm looking in the mirror but honestly the reflection and the light shining off of these shadows and just like this really sultry hue of color i wouldn't say that these are the most pigmented mattes i've ever used in my life um but they're kind of a like beauty bear and ColourPop formula so like still really really good i mean this is 18 pounds for 18 pounds i think this is an absolute steal i love the shimmery glittery shades on top i think this works really really well together everything blended beautifully like I said I will do something with these greens that like what is that like this bluey grazy green really intrigues me really really intrigues me and these olives captures my heart so you better believe I just want to do something with this neon green the yellow um it's gonna be all up in my face and I love it but this is so sultry and with my jumper I literally feel like I'm one with the force and the force is with me I'm one with the jumper and the jumper is with me I love this okay enough of me jabbering highly recommend this i've only played with it once but i can just tell you already if you've got 18 pounds if you've got you know 20 quid that you want to spend on an indie palette i don't think you'll be disappointed at all if you think you're going to like this color story absolutely pick it up as soon as they restock if you do get a chance i'd say the serenity palette is also worth picking up i'd say this is less approachable than the muse palette if i'm perfectly honest i feel like this although it's colorful the saturation of all the colours are really sort of muted and kind of dimmed down a little bit whereas the Serenity is really impactful and really bright and very... it's approachable for me because I love it but not very approachable for the everyday makeup wearer or like person that just wears neutrals. I feel like this is more of a really good introductory session to colour. I really really like this. Highly recommend both those palettes not surprised to be honest i'm so impressed but yeah let me know did you pick up the muse palette have you got the serenity palette what are your thoughts let me know i'm gonna go flutter my eyelashes at jake now and be like do you think i look pretty <laughs> thank you guys for watching talk to me down below it's my favorite part about uploading a thumbs video up if you have enjoyed subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already to be notified of all the videos i upload take care stay safe and i'll see you in my next one bye